Not a big grower. It's a very, it's a perfectly decent business. The number, uh, uh, it peaked in new unit volume, more or less coincident with what happened in the stock market in 2007 and 2008. I mean, there were a fair number of people whose income was dependent on stock market behavior, particularly hedge fund managers, but other, a lot of others. And uh, they gave us quite a boom in sales. Um, and not only did their demand fall off, but when their contracts ran out, and they tended to run out in like 2011 and 12, uh, a lot of them did not renew. Uh, until the last, won't be totally accurate on this, but until the last uh, six or eight months, net ownership in the U.S. was declining just slightly. And that's turned around now, net ownership is growing month by month. But it is not a huge growth business at all. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's a very large size business. I mean, we are you know, probably 60 some percent of the industry and, and there's nobody remotely close as a second. I mean, we are the premier product, uh, but I don't see the market being double or triple the present size. Uh, we are going to China very soon but that's a very, very long range play. Uh, we are in Europe and that is not, that, that still is declining a little bit in unit volume. Now the, the flight hours have picked up a fair amount. So the owners are using the planes more in the last six months to a year. Uh, and that fell off a lot in the 2007, eight period. So I would not, I would not characterize NetJets as a big growth opportunity, but I would. But I'm glad we own it, and I think it's very, it's a sati very satisfactory business. But it is not, it is not one I would expect to uh, see a whole lot of growth out of. Charlie. Well, I demonstrated my optimism by buying 25 more hours. He was a tough sell, too. I got to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I can think of a few more comments, but I won't make them. How long